Okay guys, so finding the right product to sell. If you want to start your Amazon business, you need some products to sell. And I will show you exactly the products I am, see, I am selling right now on Amazon and the products that help me to, to earn more than $1,000 a month on Amazon, just selling these simple products. So let's go there. Use books. So the used books market on Amazon is amazing. If you, Amazon is the, 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 the biggest bookseller in the country, I think. And the, the great thing is that people can add, also buy uh, used books. So they don't need to pay the full price of a brand new book, but they can simple, uh, simply just get the same uh, book as used in a really good condition. Sometimes it's, it looks like new. We will take a look on all these conditions later in the, in the course. Um, there are like five categories uh, of the condition of the book, like new, uh, acceptable, good, very good condition. Depending on that, you can set up the price. So how do I get used books? We will have another model on the future with all the details, exactly step by step, how you can get all these books to sell on your Amazon business. It's really easy. But let me tell you quickly right now uh, a few of the of the methods I use. So one of the things I, 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 I do every week is I go to Goodwill. And at Goodwill, they have lots and lots of used books, people that donate the books. So you going to Goodwill and actually purchasing the books from these guys, you are actually helping the Goodwill for, for the charity purpose and everything. So... Uh, you are making money and you can also you are also helping other people uh, in the in the same time at the same time right so that's great uh, on goodwill for example you can get books for 75 cents all the paperbacks right now are 75 cents and depending of the location you can find the, the hardcover for 249 149 depending of the location sometimes even cheaper but I always focus on the paper bag because they are really cheap and they, they, they can sell them really easily on Amazon. Uh, I had uh, experience that I, I usually buy for 75 cents and I sold for like 35 bucks, 40 bucks, 25, 15 bucks, uh, a, a book that I just pay 75 cents. So you imagine all the, the profit that we are getting here. Um, and doing this this business and in the same way you are helping goodwill because you are buying from them and you are helping your customer that is buying from amazon because you are helping them to get a cheaper book because if they will buy a brand new book it will will be more expensive right um another way another ways to get used books is you can start with your if you have any used book that you are not using on your home library you can just uh, scan this when you're with your amazon app and if you don't know about the Amazon app, we will take a, a deeper look on that on uh, later on the course. Um, so you can just send a few of your use books and take a look how it's going. You know, another way to do it is library sales. I went several times to library sales, and you can buy like lots and lots of use really good books for uh, for almost nothing. And you are helping the library because they don't want the books anymore. They are not using they They have several copies of that book. So you are helping them to read off the books. And another way is you can uh, take a look on Craylist. And and some people usually donate book, books on Craylist. So I, I also had people donating to me boxes and boxes of books. And I just clean up the books and send it to Amazon and making profit for profit from that. Right. So that's great. But we will don't worry for now about how to get the books because I will have a complete model on that step by step. I will show you how to do it on Craylist, how to find the library sales. I will give you all the tips on, on Goodwill and on other ways that you can get used books. Another thing is the, the, the new or used CDs. Unbelievable, guys, but there are still lots of people that use CDs over there. And people are willing to pay like high prices for their favorite band and the favorite music, favorite album. So another place where I find uh, really good CDs is on Goodwill. 
they charge around 50 cents to one dollar depending on the location for each cd and the cds are with the cds you have more profit than the books they they are a little bit harder to sell to sell and on, on on amazon but uh you have a bigger profit and i will show you later also how you can step by step how you can get the cds how you clean the cds how you send to amazon and how you can make profit on that dvds of course on the dvds on on goodwill for example are one dollar and you can sell a dvd for 30 25 15 10 bucks and you pay only one buck one dollar so this is another great way to 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 find things to sell on amazon video games the thing uh, my man had my, my mother has a uh, like four boxes full of these uh, little games Nintendo and Super Nintendo and I just I didn't have idea if I if they will sell well so I just check on Amazon and I saw that they are selling really well people because it's an all a video game console they are willing to pay high prices for the games. Uh, because they like it is they are passionate about that so that's great so I basically ship all the four boxes of uh, these video games to Amazon and I I mean the total profit that I made on these video games thing it was it was more than th than three thousand dollar and I sold all this in one month basically so uh, you need to always be uh, eyes open to opportunities and to product that you you can sell on Amazon, okay? Retail products, for example, Walmart. My wife asked me to go to Walmart and, and just buy a sunscreen for her for the summer here on South Florida. So uh, I was buying the, the, the sunscreen there and I saw this, that it was on sale and the, the, the letter said it was for uh, $5.98 on, on Walmart. But uh, so I decided to scan to see how much it was on Amazon, and I saw. And this is my actually this is actually my uh, advertising. This is my product on Amazon, one of my products. Um, I'm selling for twelve ninety seven here. But this is the funny things, guy. For some reason, uh, Walmart, uh, the the system on Walmart, it was it was registered for one dollar and fifty cent each one of these bottles. So I, I went to the register, I checked the price and it was actually one fifty. So I got a new car and I got sixty of these bottles. You know, because it's one dollar six one dollar fifty cents each. So I purchased sixty of these. And I am selling on Amazon for twelve ninety seven. And this is I, I, I put a low a lower price just to sell really quick and, and profit really quick on this. So this is another example that even on Walmart, you can you can sell uh, these products and you can make money with this. Another ex another Walmart example, guys. Just an, an, again shopping with my wife, I saw a, a a place where they said it, this was on sale on on, on Walmart, and here is the proof. I paid two ninety seven for each. I I purchased ninety of these guys. This is one of the bills. I have another one. And I am selling for ten ninety nine. This model, uh, there is another model here that I am selling for eighteen ninety nine, and it's selling like crazy. Uh, this is something for kids that ki kids can draw, and this is for kids party. They have twenty four packs. I mean, it's really great, and kids love it. I just gave uh, to uh, to my friend, and they gave to her son, and it was amazing. Yeah, the, the kid the kid just get really excited with this. So kids love this stuff, and it's selling like crazy for for parties and stuff like that. And two ninety seven, I am making ten ninety nine. So profit there. Another example here, guys. This is from Best Buy. Best Buy. This is a Verizon prepaid phone that I am selling for twenty seven forty, and you can see here I pay two ninety nine. So why so cheap on Best Buy if I am selling too expensive on Amazon? So this is the deal. Let me show you here. If you go to BestBuy.com and you click on weekly deals, you can see here. Uh, that you have the deal, uh, some deals here, but you have the deal of the day. This is the best thing ever. So you can find crazy stuff here. So in here, I found the, the, the Verizon phone, this guy here, for simply $2.99. And I saw on Amazon that it was selling for $27. So I purchased lots and lots of this phone, and it's selling like crazy too. 
So this is another opportunity. You can always, you need to always check this deal of the day of, of Best Buy and see what's going on here and see if you have an opportunity selling this on Amazon, right? Also, you can subscribe, you can put your email here and sign up and you, you will receive daily uh, emails saying, uh, telling you about all the, the, the good deals that they have. For example, this Microsoft Kinect for Xbox, the regular price is $99, right? And I already put this on my card to show you because it's saying that see the price in card that is selling for 59 bucks. So it's 99, it's selling for $59. So you have um, $40 profit there. So uh, how much is this selling on Amazon? Let's take a look. If we go to Amazon and we search for the Kinect uh, sensor, uh, you can see that it's selling for $99 and it's selling, uh, it's shipped and sold by Amazon, okay? So you can see that here you can profit with this product. I mean, you need to be, you need to see if you are willing to invest like uh, $59 on each because you will need to buy like a few of these. Um, and if you don't have the money to initially invest on this, you can just go for the, the safer uh, way that is with these pros that are, are cheaper and you can get a huge profit as you see. My goal as instructor is to make sure that you have real results and to make sure this course is a five-star course for you and for all students. After this lecture, Udemy will ask you for a review to review this course. If you are ready to review, if you like this course, if you are happy with what you are learning, please leave your review here after this video. If you are not ready, that's totally fine. And if you want to learn more, watch more content before you leave your review, you can click on Ask Me Later so you will have other chances to leave your review here on Udemy. Your review is super important because it helps the course to grow and especially to reach more people, more entrepreneurs that like you are looking for ways to grow their business and improve their life with this strategy, with this content. So that's why your review is important and you can help me and help the course to grow by leaving your review here on Udemy. If you have any suggestion, if you don't like the course for any reason, that's totally fine. And I like that because you can help me also to improve the course. So if you have any suggestions, go to the Q&A session here on Udemy and send me your message with your suggestions. I will be happy to implement right away on the course, okay? To make it better for you and for future students. After that, we are ready to continue with the course.